more families are suffering from the droughts and they're having to depend on food from the state to get by. 23 ABC first told you about the emergency food program back in May, but now the number of people using it is growing. 23 ABC's Cassie Carlisle joins us live with what it takes to qualify for the help and what food banks are doing to keep up with that demand. As you can see, the drought is hitting farming communities really hard, and it's easy to see how the number of people taking advantage of this program is rapidly increasing. In July, we um, just gave away over 16,000 boxes, so the need is definitely increasing. Ken White says that is over twice the amount of boxes they gave away compared to their first month. Anybody can come get their boxes. It goes by household. And it's food. These boxes are issued by the state to help out families affected by the drought. Actually, how our PG and &E is going up and, and our water bills are going up, it's for actually for everybody. With the demand increasing, CAPK uses a simple form to keep track of families using the program. They just come, they sign a piece of paper, they sign their name, they print their name, their address, and the number of people living in their household. And in return, they get a box of food that can last a family of four up to five days. They're nutritionally sound, balanced, um, non-perishable boxes. The program is already in phase two, and White doesn't think the boxes will last through August. Kern County is one of the hardest hit counties by the drought in California, so we were allotted 31,000 boxes of food per phase. White says the next step is still up in the air, but hopes there will be a phase three. People are concerned the program is being abused by those who don't need the extra help. The White tells me the people who get the boxes are hungry, and if they're willing to wait out in 100-plus temps, that's worth the wait. Back to you.